before PTSD, like before I, I deployed and, and all that and everything, um, my wife always said I was like a social butterfly. Like I would talk to anybody. We'd go, we'd go to a, go someplace and I would just, hey, how you doing? And psh, went to Iraq, deployed, did my thing, came home, and I could really care less about being around people. It's like learning yourself all over again because you have new triggers, you have new things that make you mad, you have new things that make you happy, you have things that you don't care about anymore. It's almost like overstimulation. For example, last year, a friend of mine got me the ability to sell my book at the Franklin Street Fair. They announced who I was at like over, like at karaoke or whatever. And, and I've had people walk up and, and like, you know, hey, how's it going, baby killer? Too much going on. There's nothing to my back. Everybody's behind me, around me, and I'm like, okay, I, just, I gotta go. Literally by one o'clock in the afternoon, I was like, I'm, I'm going home, I'm done. My stomach was in, I was like almost doubled over in pain and my stomach hurt so bad from just the anxiety of being around that many people that I did not know in a place I wasn't familiar with. And the people that deal with PTSD, we, we intend to internalize it. We end up avoiding it and then so once we start avoiding it, we end up medicating it. A lot of guys end up self-medicating because they don't want to be on the drugs from the VA or from the Army or from the Navy or whatever. I went to behavioral health and within 10 minutes in the guy's office, he handed me Celexa. I'm like, what is this? He was like, this is for your anxiety and for your temper. It'll help you calm down. And I'm like, I've been here 10 minutes, dude. I had a specialist that I was like, I was literally ready to kill him. I was so angry. I was at the point where I was ready to just, I was going to put the magazine in, I was going to chamber it, and I was going to shoot the kid. I was just done with him. And I handed my weapon over to my, my platoon sergeant, I'm done. And I started taking the medications. And within the first week, I started having suicidal thoughts. I never had a suicidal thought in my life. Not one, ever. To the point where, I mean, I'm driving down the road every single day thinking I could just jerk the wheel into a tree. It'd be called a day. It's over. You know, all I got to do is punch the gas, get up to 65. There I go. When I was on the Seroquel, I didn't dream at all because I got into such a deep sleep so fast. I just went past the REM stage, I guess. I went past the dream stage. Oh, and then after the Seroquel, where I was transitioning into the melatonin with 5-HTP, I either couldn't sleep at all, and so I would go two or three days with no sleep, or I would get into that dream phase of sleep and stay in the dream phase all night long and wake up completely exhausted like I didn't sleep at all. But it would be, it was always like reoccurring nightmares. It was always like I had a couple of the same ones where it was like, I was in combat, everybody around me got injured, I was the medic, I open up their kits, everything's empty. There's no first aid stuff. So I open up my kit, there's nothing in it. Everybody's screaming for the doc. I have no, nothing I can use to help them with. I have no materials, I have nothing. I'm like freaking out. And it would just be like that all night long, people are screaming left and right, people are dying, more people are getting hurt and there's nothing I can do. And I would just be that dream all night long. And I finally, I just, I got home one day and I was like, I'm done with this. And the wife and I sat down, we grabbed all the meds, put them in a basket. And I made a decision, not a choice, but I made a decision to, I'm not going to be confined to myself. I'm not gonna be confined to my home. I'm gonna find a way to be social. And so I forced myself and I still do it because I'm still not comfortable with it. But I basically forced myself to be outgoing. I forced myself to be the way I used to be. For me, getting into the garden and putting my hands in the dirt and moving the plants around and, you know, harvesting or picking dead leaves, you're you know, part of the birth. You know what I mean? The life, the bringing life, the generalization to it. Instead of seeing that death portion, that destruction portion, that dark side that you don't want to see, but you have to because it's your job. I've done it for so long now that my body goes into autopilot and I just start doing it and start able to start thinking about the things that I went through, the things that happened, the guys that were hurt, the guys that were killed, the guys that died, and processing the whole situation instead of avoiding it and ignoring it and letting it fester and sit in the back and create other issues. When I go out in public, if I go to the store, I go to the mall or something like that, I'll put an uh, earbud on my phone and I'll put music on on my phone and put it in my pocket. So I've always got the musical distraction and it's not the stuff that's on the Muzak system, it's stuff that I actually want to hear, but it's, it's not avoiding it and so nothing's gonna get better if you're just avoiding it. You know what I mean? Like you're, I mean, you grow up, you lie to your mom, you lie to your dad and it's just gonna get worse until you fess up to it. Because I already know you lied. You know what I mean? Fess up to it, fix it. Don't avoid it, make it happen. Well, what am I already doing? Like, you know, I'm already using my music. I'm already using, getting deeper in my walk with my faith. I'm, I'm using the garden a lot. I'm fishing. I used to, you know, I, I learned about myself using, you know, personality assessments. Um, just all these different tools that I'm using I'm not just doing one thing and the book spawned a couple different ideas and a couple theories of its own it's of of it's it's active healing over passive healing so instead of sitting on the couch taking the pills talking to a therapist and waiting for it to get better I'm taking the organic supplements I'm working in my garden I'm up actively doing something to try to facilitate my own healing because just sitting there waiting for it it's not going to come by itself you know what I mean